So let me show you the beginnings of how you can make a lot of money by selling printed patterns, digital downloads on Etsy and using Affinity Photo to really easily create the patterns. Now I've got it open here just to show you some examples. If you look at this one in the top right hand corner, the rainbow patterns, they've had 5,000 or oh, 5.4 thousand five star reviews. The one next to it, 1,900, 3,700. Now people leave reviews when they actually buy something. So if you look at those, multiply it by £2.38, £1.63, £1.10, which is the equivalent of about, I don't know, $2 US, $3 US, whatever the translation is, whatever the exchange rate is, but multiply the 3.9 by the price, and that'll give you an idea, an idea of how much money is being made there. Now you can be a part of this. Let me show you how easy it is. Now, up until now, you've had to create the patterns yourself. But what we're going to do is not create watercolours, although you can do that. What about flowers? There we go. Now, we can create flower patterns really easily. Now, it's run on Discord, oddly enough. I've opened up Discord there and it's called Mid Journey. You can see it there? Mid Journey. So look up midjourney.com. Let me see if I can find that for you. There we go. M I D J O U R N E Y dot C O M. Midjourney.com. And there's all that. Now, this is an AI image generator. And you go down there, get started, join the beta, sign in. Go there and it will point you eventually to Discord. Now you'll have to download Discord and put it on your computer or you can use it on the internet. It's an app on, the, on iOS, so you can run it on iOS, which is where I've got it. So let's go and have a look at that. Let's go and create. There's my Discord server. Let's go and create some flowers. A repeating pattern. Now, I've already got one there, but to start off, you type that and then type imagine and it comes up with a prompt. Now, because I've already highlighted the prompt, I'll just paste it in. No, I won't. Okay, I've created the prompts previously and that's it there. Let me go and copy that, copy and paste. Now we go back to the Discord server and I'll paste that in. There's the prompt. Beautiful sunflowers, yellow, pale baby blue, craft paper, wildflowers, intricate details. And the keyword is the hyphen tile. Now, it may take you a couple of minutes, might take you half an hour, might take you a whole day to learn to use Discord, but it's really easily. Uh, really easily done, um, and the mid-journey part of it. The mid-journey creates those images. Now, let me show you what happens when I press the right arrow, and away it goes. Now, there you can see, that's the in, in my name there, Affinity in, Inspiration. It's creating, it's waiting to start. Now, this is very busy, as you can see, people all around the world, and there's millions of them uh, doing this. Now, there we go. It's slowly creating the sunflower patterns. 7%, 12%. Now, the problem with this is it will, it will in a moment, it will flick through to the, and scroll. You can see there's people generating stuff everywhere. Let me have a look at that while it's generating. You can see all the stuff it's doing there. Now that somebody passed us. Now, there we are. We're still only at 35% but it is still generating 40%. Keeping track of where your designs are are sometimes difficult, but that's okay, we'll get there. You find them because you can look search via your username, which in my case, see in the bottom left-hand corner, 
Affinity Inspiration, so I'm really easy to find. Now it's generating a pattern. 70%. Sorry this is taking so long, but it's a really busy day out there on the Mid Journey server. Uh, via Discord, there's lots of people on. There are other ways of doing this, but the Mid Journey one is the best one I've found of, out of all of them because it has the most options. There is one on Bing, but it doesn't have the tile option. And that's the secret here. You can see the double hyphen tile. That creates repeatable tiles. Now, where did that go? There it is there. You can see it's finished. Now, let's just highlight that. There's two tiles there. Now, what I want to do is perhaps use the left one. But I'll create, I'll upscale both of them. That means, and V1 and V2, you'll find out later, you can do variations of your existing image and it will vary them slightly and then reproduce them. But what it's doing now is upscaling one and two. Now, if you have a look on the left hand side, you'll see my logo there. Affinity Inspiration. Now, having run up Discord, I've created my own server, and that's very easy. You just press that plus sign. There's lots of um, instructions for Discord, but you can press that thing and create your own server, they call it. And this is where you can get just your own messages happening. And you link it to the Mid Journey server. You, you, when you're in your own one, which is mine, Affinity Inspiration, you can then connect it to the Mid Journey server. Now, I'm not going to give a, a whole indication of how these things are done, how to use uh, Discord. Sufficient to know that it's really easy. Now, what this does is it avoids all of those other messages because it's on your own server. Now you can see I've been creating lots of in, lots of flowers there and you can see the prompt that you put in. Now to start a new prompt, it's really easy. What I've done is create a lot of prompts, but mostly that one there. You can see the, the prompts there. Whoops. There we go. Let me connect that. Get my keyboard out of the way. Copy that. Go back to Discord. Open that up. Tap that. Tap the bar and it says, what do you want? Well, that one there, imagine. Then I just type in the prompt. Now that that's in there, saves you typing it all again. Remember, this is on the iPad too, so it's really easy to do. Now you just change beautiful sunflowers, yellow, pale, baby blue, wildflowers. Just change those keywords there to whatever you like. And away it will go and generate them. Now once they're generated, and I won't do that again because you don't want to be sitting around waiting for that. You can see what's happened there. I'll just backspace and wipe all those prompts out. Now they're upscaled versions. You can see I did upscale 1 and upscale 2, which means enlarge them in size. And they come out, if we go to that, I've just tapped on that and enlarged it. Open in browser, and there it is in a browser. If I save that now, it's in 2048 pixels by 2048. That image there is in 2048 by 2048. Now, by doing that, and then doing that and saving them, it saves them to Apple Photos. Now it's already there, click the X up there. Now that's in Discord. Spend the time on Discord to make that work properly. Because if you're going to do this to make an income in somewhere like Etsy, for example, where you can create pattern papers, now you can see that this is a tile. See the left hand side there? Over on that left-hand side, that rose petal there 
fits the rose petal just on the right hand side. So it's a tiled pattern. And I'll show you in a moment just how to do that when we get on to affinity. So there's two parts to this. Using Mid Journey to create your um, patterns. And if you're, if you're looking for new ideas, go to the help menu, Getting Started. And it tells you all about how to use these things. There's all sorts of trial support, member support. There's all sorts of useful things um, on there in the, in the Mid Journey. So you've got Mid Journey. Now we're going to have a look at what we can do in Affinity Photo. Now you saw I just started Affinity Photo version 2 on the iPad. Works exactly the same as Affinity Photo version 2 on the desktop, PC or Mac. Very nice. <clears throat> okay, so what we've got here, we have to go through this and look at how we do it. So the first thing I want to do, let's not use the untitled ones. You can see I've got those flowers there. And there's two layers to that. Let's go back. And that creates that pattern there. Isn't that nice? One layer, one pattern layer. Those cats there, two layers. Create that pattern there. Now, if you really like cats, there's a piece of paper you'll really love. Now, you can see the shape of that. That's 1250 by 1250 in size, which is 12 inches by 12 inches, that piece of paper. Very nice. That's what you want. So let's go and, let's go and have a look at this. Let's start creating our own. So we're going to open one of those images, import from photos, that's fine. Let's open those and I'll use, I'll use this first red rose one there. That's a beautiful image. Now I'll just pinch that in a bit so we can see what we're doing. You'll see it's a nice square image. Now let's have a look at the layers panel. There it is and it's locked, that's good. Okay, now we want to put the plus sign and we want a pattern layer from selection, which is one, two, three, the fourth one down, pattern layer from selection. And you can see you've got pattern there now. And that's exactly what we want. Now that you've got that pattern, the easy part, let's just check the size of that. 2048 by 2048 which is 24 by 24 inch. So that's really big. That's a big piece of paper. Let's go for a 12 inch piece of paper. We'll go back to there. We've got that just to make sure we've copied it. Let's copy that layer. That's that one there, the pattern layer. Go back, copy the pattern layer. Now we go back out here and we create a new document. So open that up. Let's reduce it in size so we can see it. Go to there. We can see there's no layers. Now we paste it in. Now go to the move tool and you can see that it's much larger than it needs to be. It's double the size, 2048. So we go to the Transform Studio, make sure it's centered in the middle there, make sure the lock is on, and we'll start by reducing the size of that. And you can see what's happening there. Now here's our square down here, but let's move it onto the canvas. We've still got the Move tool selected. You can put that anywhere you like. And there we go, it's in the middle. You can see the size. We've reduced it in size and you've got that repeating pattern right across your piece of paper. 
That is absolute magic. Now you can reduce that size even further once you've got it exactly where you want it. So each, each repeating pattern on your 12 inch by 12 inch piece of paper, you can make those as small as you like or you can make them as big as you like. Now, the really clever thing here is you can get hold of that and you can tilt that at an angle. That gives you another pattern. You can tilt that at the opposite angle. And you can see I've got the corners of the square just touching the boundaries there. So you've got yet another slight change in the pattern. Let's change that back to there. <coughs> now the rotation is showing as 0.5, but let's just reset it to zero. So the rotation, the shear, it's 512 by 512 pixels. The position, perfect. The pixel size, the width and the height, well, let's make those nice round numbers, shall we? 500 and the other one's 500. Now, that's a perfect image. What more could you do with that? Go back here. Save as. Baby Roses Pattern. Save it. And I want to save it to Dropbox, Affinity Photo, and put it in there. There we go. So there's your original, untouched. And that's the pattern that we created. There's the paper pattern that we created with the repeating roses going across it. At a slight angle, you can straighten them up, you can do that with, with that, whatever you like. That's so very neat. Baby roses, that one's untitled. So if you close that, it loses that, but you don't lose the original image, which is there. That's your background image. You can see that I've hidden the top layer. No difference. Hidden that. There we go. And there's your background layer. Now, once you've got that, you export that to a PNG, export it to download, baby roses pattern, we don't want to preview it, let's just export it, Set that to downloads. And there it goes. Now, if you're going to sell these on Etsy, it doesn't hurt to also export them as a PDF file. People like to have PDF files because you can load them into other documents as well. There's the Baby Roses pattern PDF. Let's just press OK. We don't want it to go to Affinity Photo. I want it to go to Dropbox. Downloads. There's the Baby Roses pattern there, but that's not the one I want. Baby Roses pattern. This should be a PDF. And there it goes. Let's go and have a look. See if I can find my way to that directory. ABC downloads. There's the Baby Roses pattern PDF and Baby Roses pattern PNG. Very nice. Now you can put those on your shop front on Etsy. Do a little bit of advertising. Sell them for thousands. And all done with a little bit of work on the artificial intelligence generation of those tiles. How long would it take you to make that by hand? Hours, I suspect. Okay, let's stop it there. Thanks very much for watching 
and I wish you every success.